In the vast expanse of our universe, cosmic collisions are not uncommon. But what happens when one of the most massive stars known to humanity, Stevenson 2, 18, meets its match with a formidable force of nature, a black hole? Picture the scene, a star, Stevenson 2, 18 so colossal that it reduces our sun to a mere speck in comparison, and a black hole, a void so powerful that it traps anything that dares to venture too close, including light itself. Now imagine them on a collision course, this isn't just a fender bender on the cosmic highway, but a full-blown, high-speed, interstellar pile-up. The star, despite its grandeur, is no match for the relentless pull of the black hole. And when these two celestial titans finally meet, the universe bears witness to a spectacle of unparalleled proportions. A dance of destruction and creation, a clash of light and darkness, an event so powerful, so awe-inspiring, it's a cosmic spectacle like no other. The gravitational forces at play during such an event are truly mind-boggling. The black hole's immense gravity starts to pull material from the surface of Stevenson 2, 18. This interaction between the two cosmic behemoths forms what we call an accretion disk around the black hole. Picture this disk as a cosmic whirlpool, a swirling vortex of stellar material caught in the black hole's insatiable gravitational grip. As the material from Stevenson 2, 18 gets closer and closer to the black hole, it starts to move faster and faster. This is because the gravitational pull of the black hole strengthens exponentially the closer you get to it. And as the particles in the accretion disk whirl around at incredible speeds, they start to collide with each other. These collisions generate a tremendous amount of heat, causing the disk to glow with intense radiation. This radiation is so powerful that it doesn't just stay confined to the vicinity of the black hole. Instead, it bursts out into the universe creating a beacon of energy that can be detected from great distances. Astronomers are able to observe these energy bursts and use them to study the properties of black holes and the stars they interact with. So, this swirling disk of matter generates intense heat and radiation as it spirals into the black hole, emitting powerful bursts of energy that can be detected across the universe. This cosmic dance in its violent beauty is a testament to the incredible forces at play in our universe. Additionally, the collision can lead to the formation of powerful jets of particles shooting out from the poles of the black hole. These jets emit various wavelengths of electromagnetic radiation and can be observed using telescopes. These cosmic cannons, as they are sometimes referred to, blast material out into space at speeds that boggle the mind. It's like watching a celestial fireworks display, only on a scale that our minds can barely comprehend. But the spectacle doesn't end there. Depending on the mass of the black hole and the amount of material it pulls from Stevenson 2, 18, this cosmic clash could give rise to a new, even more massive black hole. Imagine that, a cosmic graveyard of collapsed stars growing in size and power with each collision. Yet, amidst this chaotic dance of destruction, there's the potential for creation. Some of the material from Stevenson 2, the 18th of May, escaped the black hole's gravitational pull, getting ejected into space at high velocities. This ejected matter, rich with the elements of a star, could enrich the surrounding interstellar medium, potentially seeding the formation of new celestial bodies. Indeed, these cosmic collisions may well serve as celestial nurseries giving birth to new stars and planets. So the collision between a black hole and Stevenson 2, 18 is not just a clash of cosmic giants, it's a symphony of destruction and creation, shaping the very fabric of our universe. But the story doesn't end there. Some material from Stevenson 2, the 18th of May be ejected into space at high velocities, enriching the surrounding interstellar medium. This isn't just a byproduct of the collision, it's a vital part of the cosmic cycle. The ejected material infused with elements forged in the heart of Stevenson 2, 18, is like a celestial seed. It can travel through space, eventually mingling with the dust and gas clouds in other parts of the universe. Over time, gravity can pull this material together, sparking the birth of new stars and planets. So you see, the collision between a black hole and Stevenson 2, 18 is not a tale of destruction, but one of creation. It's a cosmic symphony playing out on an infinite stage, shaping the very fabric of our universe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-blowing insights into the wonders of the cosmos.